Mistakes are part of the peculiarities of investing, especially as an investor. These mistakes are only made sometimes due to being in the field for a long time or being new to the trend. Although most of the time, it primarily affects those who need to become more familiar with the movement, the newbies, or those who need more room to learn from others' ideas. These mistakes are bound to happen to almost every investor, especially when an investor decides to start a journey into financial independence that would enable him to break free from many obstacles and the status quo. The great news is that these common mistakes can be avoided if you, as an investor, know the mistakes and prevent them by taking the right channel. Secondly, being open to relevant information on investment saves a lot of these common mistakes. One of the greatest mistakes is to focus on the stock market instead of individual businesses. According to Rick Warren, a global investor, the best way to rise above the unpredictability of the market is to look beyond the market. As an investor, predicting the market instead of focusing on an individual's businesses would pose a greater risk to investors who want to succeed. Although, some examples of the unpredictability of the stock market are the COVID-19 pandemic, the current Ukraine war, and rising inflation rates. All these, among others, can easily influence the market. He cites that these unpredictable occurrences can quickly sink any investor who has eyes on the stock market rather than individual businesses. Predicting the stock market movements is one of the biggest mistakes any investor can make. The market is always unpredictable, and as a stock investor, it carries greater risk trying to use the market prediction on your investment. To be a successful investor, the best way is to look into individual businesses and predict based on that. Since the stock market has many ups and downs, its fluctuations would pose the most significant risk to any investor who bases their plans on it. He identifies two major things to focus on when dealing with the market, importance and the knowables. These are predicated on identifying the superior companies at fair prices, which is buying low and selling high. Although these also do not guarantee 100% smooth sailing, sometimes, some of the predictions might crash, but trust me, the success rate is very high and much more reliable. Lack of understanding of the investment is one of the mistakes of investors. Warren Buffett often believes that investing in a business model you have little or no knowledge about is hazardous. The best way is to build a diversified portfolio of ETFs or mutual funds. However, in a situation whereby as an investor of stocks, ensure that you know the details of the companies the stocks represent before investing in them. It is not advisable to rush into where angels fear to tread. Getting attached to your purchasing price is another common mistake as an investor. Many investors hold their purchasing price so crucial that they focus more on it. Not only that, they treat stock differently to the extent that they lose out on growth and profit. On many occasions, some investors think that the stock market treats investors differently and sometimes with sympathy, which is false. As an investor, it is essential to know how the company will perform in the future and always to pretend to have a blank slate. Knowing this will make you avoid getting attached to your purchasing price. Also, aggressive growth projections or expecting a high growth rate is a mistake often made by some investors. To clarify, this does not mean that investors should not have high hopes for their investments. However, investing in companies that can grow without involving too much capital but can grow at any price is safer than investing in growing companies. However, this is not easy because it deals with growing by earning. However, it is the best way to approach investment. Sadly, it is just a few investors that do this, and the percentage is very low. The next common mistake that needs to be considered is using leverage to invest in stock. Though it sounds good initially, the reality of the dangers in doing that is much more than the benefits. Using leverage to finance investment would never be a win-win situation. It is always plus 1 minus 10. Moreover, missing forests for the trees is another fatal mistake investors make. This aspect is subdivided into three parts, the business and industry's future economics, management, and price. These three are the driving force in the forest. They control the forest, and it does not take knowing all the business details. Just know the critical aspects and strike your deals within a short moment. Keeping too much time trying to understand the details poses a great risk, and one of the biggest risks is losing the forest while focusing on the trees. If you find yourself paying more attention to details, you can try to avoid being a victim by knowing how to summarize your details into sizable information that would help you focus more on the forest than trees. Lack of patience is another angle of investors' mistakes. Rome was not built in a day, 
and expecting all investments to yield immediately or yield greater returns within a short time might be like shooting yourself in the leg. The process takes patience and perseverance. To do this, ensure that your expectations are realistic and channeled along the timeline of the growth of your portfolio and returns. Furthermore, many investors think there is always a reward for researching the most difficult things in the business world, knowing the economy's future, and solving some of the most demanding tasks. In the general world, these things have rewards attached to them. However, in the investor's world, it usually means futile efforts. Often, unfortunately, many investors leave working smart for working hard. Meanwhile, the business world thrives on smartness. Working smartly requires a few things. Getting familiar with companies with favorable industry and business prospects with hardworking and diligent management and a low price. That is working smart. The investor's world is all about applying wisdom, not solving too complex tasks. Similar to that is shrinking your universe of opportunities. Many investors spend most of their time on unprofitable investments, often mistaken for diligence and perseverance. As an investor, never approach opportunities with a narrow mind. Opportunities are mobile and dynamic, and this is to say that they only stay in a place for a short time. That is why investors should always be alert and know when to move from a spot where little or no turnout is made. Let your mind be dynamic in investing in many companies where opportunities keep rising. The mistake of equating staying active all the time with working smart is another area of focus regarding common mistakes investors make. Many investors think that investing in too many things at a time or investing every day means that they are doing well or will later be more successful is easy because investments do not work that way. Investing in companies with a booming market does not mean every inch is a success. However, there are plenty of stock markets with many opportunities. No matter how you invest, you might have little or no yield. It is all about striking the right channel and waiting for the fat pitch. By knowing the rules of investing in the stock market, you would not need to keep active in investing only. In a stock company, most times, it is inactivity that is sometimes rewarded. The next is confirmation bias. Broadly, many investors do this. Immediately they connect to some companies, they tend to shut the door against opportunities. Before deciding to keep some companies in your portfolio, try doing possible research about many and weigh their pros and cons before settling for the numbers you want. By keeping your doors open, you could make the best choices by killing some of your darlings and focusing on something much better. As an investor focusing on the bear pill, it would be easy to research the potential risks of an investment or the high referendums who need to play devil's advocate. Many investors put their emotions on the front line when it comes to investing, and most times could be a strong red alert. Often, it is believed that greed and fear rule the market, and this cannot be said to be a lie. As a result, many investors are constantly under pressure, which controls their decision-making and, in turn, ruins the bigger picture. The stock market is dynamic. Sometimes, it flips towards the negative side, whereby it deviates drastically within a short time, and many investors, because of a lack of patience, take rash decisions that negatively impact their investments. As an investor, it is best to be patient because, in the long run, the patient ones get rewarded handsomely. For example, over a decade, the S&P 500 delivered 11.51% returns on May 13, 2022, and funnily enough, the same had the return year to date at minus 15.57%. The stock market could be unpredictable, and many would see the fluctuations as a pointer to panic sell. Meanwhile, if they exercise little patience, they would hold their investment long-term and have more profits as time goes on, probably from other irrational investors who make quick decisions. In addition to the mistakes, many investors diversify too much. What does this mean? Many investors are not willing to read up about individual companies regularly, and unfortunately, they need to learn how to diversify to get themselves protected by buying an index fund. The index fund helps investors to have in-depth investment knowledge. Therefore, if you are an investor who wants to know more about businesses and industries and have up-to-date information, use the knowledge you have gathered from enjoying reading and learning about businesses and industries to achieve above market. The herd following syndrome is also one of the mistakes investors make. Investing is not like a popular movie everyone is interested in seeing or a popular book being recommended by friends and loved ones. In the world of investment, the lonely road is the best. You can invest in something other than what everyone is investing in or what everyone recommends to you. 
what is suitable for everyone might be your biggest pitfall, especially when you are still determining what others have invested. The last on the list are commissions, the greatest mistakes investors can make. And that is all about leaving what you are supposed to do undone, which could be not willing to take certain risks or deciding not to invest in something given, as in the case of Warren Buffett with his investment with Walmart. He was so attached to the initial purchase of shares that he failed to see more opportunities in the investment if he had pushed a bit further. The result? It costs him a reduction of $8 billion in what would have been his profit. That is why, whenever you sense that investment has higher prospects and more opportunities to offer, it is best to go for the full bite of it. Please like, share and subscribe and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.